All right, what is going on guys? Raptor, welcome back to another Destiny video and it feels great to be back. I'm now done exams so we can go back to that daily Destiny grind. Now anyway guys, in this video I'm showing you one of my favorite and best Scar Rifles used in both PvP and PvE which I find very rare. Now it's currently the only ones I use in PvP and both uh, PvE is the Tlaloc as well as the Hand of Judgment which is otherwise known as this gun you can see right in front of your very own eyes. We also slapped on a nice blue chroma on this gun. In order to obtain it, you get it from ranking of Virix and you get it from a package drop once you rank them up. Of course, it's not guaranteed, it's a chance because there are many other versions of Virix weapons that you can get. But as you guys can see, crowd control working as well as a nice amazing um, explosive rounds I believe it if I do remember I hope I don't forget but yes you guys can really see how much damage this gun is putting in now as I did say the main scarfles I use in PvP would be the hung jury SR4 which you it's the god roll that the vendor did sell and then you also have going back the Tlaloc they also use as well. However, the Hungry I do not use in PvP much, but this gun it definitely sells it. It's definitely one of my favorite legendary weapons to use in both PvP and PvE. So here are the perks. Again, we have blue chrome key, your regular sights, nothing too much about that, but here is where it gets nice and juicy. There was small bore, then injection mold, which I did love. Not only that, explosive rounds, and not only that guys, we did get target acquisition, otherwise known as hidden hand, and then crowd control. I do find that once you get one kill, crowd control perk actually uh, procs, which is quite nice. Now moving on, depending on how you uh, how you play your playstyle and all that type of sword, you'd either use hidden hand or you'd use explosive rounds, but mainly on PvP and PvE, I would use crowd control, because you guys can see it work here. Now, in the Prison of Elders, it can actually one-shot enemies, however, I do believe on the last tier, um, I believe it's the last tier of the Challenge of Elders, it doesn't one headshot, but you can still do some major damage if you have the crowd control perk on, I do believe it does one headshot then. But as you guys can see, it does damage. Just keep on looking guys, as you guys can see, one headshot, but then again, the uh, primary damage um, buff is currently on, so it definitely does change some stuff up there, but regardless, this gun does melt, especially once the crowd control perk is proc'd. So yeah guys, that's all I have to say for this mini review of this gun, I cannot wait to upload more videos and show you guys everything that you've been missing. So if you are new to the channel, please leave a like down below and subscribe if you haven't already as well. This is Rapsu guys, and I'm out. Peace.